Welcome Minneapolis sports fans and uh, just general Ottawa County uh, viewers, Minneapolis viewers. We're here for the third annual figure eight racing and demolition derby at the Ottawa County Fair. It's July 23rd, 2011. Dale Leach here for broadcasting on Eagle Community Television, Channel 20. Doug Beecham can't be with us this year. Bigger night than ever here for the figure eight racing and demo derby. Uh, initial count, if there's no late arrivers, is 18 demolition derby cars and 13 figure eight racers. That's probably around double uh, what they had last year, I'm going to guess. I don't have the paperwork in front of me to know for sure, but uh, definitely the largest car count that we've had so far in the three years. Nice crowd here. It's fortunate that we've had some clouds come in over the sun and cool the crowd off a little bit. It was blistering here for a while as uh, we got up to 104 degrees around 6 o'clock as this beast of a summer continues with successive days of 100 degrees plus temperatures. The uh, arena here is pretty much ready. Give you a shot of some of the pit area here. It stretches all the way to the back and, and around again. But lots of drivers here tonight to compete for the big money at this figure eight racing and demolition derby. Again, this is Dale Leach. We'll be back with the start of this fella here in just a moment. Okay, heat one of the demolition derby is underway. Two heats. 81, nine in the next one. here in the foreground is Chad Turner of Geneva, Nebraska. A couple drivers from Nebraska here. Three is Keith Jamison of Delta. Keith's been here third year now. 70J is uh, Logan Turner of Niles. 68 is Jacob Fine of Delta. out of commission already. It's Frank Wade at Elpis. He's over here on the side. A lot of jogging for position going on here so far. Not a whole lot of serious damage. Pete Jaberson rear end. Jacob Klein. Y2 
K out there is pushing uh, from the right. Is Justin? Can't read my writing. Montgomery is smolin. Had mud volleyball here last night, and uh, things haven't quite dried out, <laughs> despite all the mud they pushed off of here. A lot of stalemating going on here right now. Puts a move into the back of 11. That's Chad Turner into the back of Mike Hansen. So seven out of the eight cars still mobile and going here. Only one out, Frank Way to Delphus. Looks like 58 Klein, the Delphus is kind of stuck. He just got T boned by 11. 68, excuse me, Jacob Klein, not 58. Well, we're going to get a rear end approach here from Y2K. He's going to try to get some speed build up. Rear end somebody. Rear ends Skeet Jamison. Jamison keeps going. You got four cars all built up there in the center. Jacob Klein is hung up there. He gets freed up there. Oh, Y2K gets it from behind by 3R. Justin Montgomery gets rear-ended by Don Rab. Labeline. Now 43S is going to work over Rab. He's Immobile right now. He got his car moving finally. Looks like his front wheels are locked up. There he's going. Keith Jamerson smoking from the front end. Y2K is immobile down here and he calls it good. Pulls his stick in. Keith Davis is trapped between 43S, three cars actually, 43S, and uh, 
three. Looks like 70's out of commission down here. That's Logan Turner of Niles. Now they've got uh, three. No. Three's Jameson. Three R. Rab. Is confined. Davis is losing some moisture out of his radiator in the front end. Jacob Klein gets into the rear of 3R again. 4 to 3 is working over 3R from the front. No place to go for the 3R. He's jammed in between the 43S and 68 Klein. Pete Jamison gets into the back of Klein and 3R. It's Rab, Rabling. So three cars out of action now, five to go. gets away from him. Seventy's out of commission, but he still get hit a little bit. Eleven's found a lot of more strategies front end. Keith Jamison seems to be mobile, but he hadn't taken down his stick yet. There he goes. He's backing up in the green three. Jacob Klein still mobile. 43S, Shad Turner of Geneva, Nebraska, still at it. Still got 3R pinned here in the center. Got his engine going again. Jacob Klein seems to be immobile, but he's got his stick up yet. Must be uh, engine shut off, trying to get her going. There, I see some smoke coming from the outtakes. So five still at it here. Line gets into the rear of 11. 3R gets him and then off of him into 11. 11 again, Stanton of Abilene. 3R is on Rab of Abilene. Hanson of Abilene. Pete Jamison, rear ends. Chad Turner of Geneva. They're both still moving. Three R's. Pin here between 11 and 43S. 43S backing him up. 11. T Bone's the front end of 43S. Jamison gets rear ended. Klein gets into the side of 43F. Jamison gets away from all of them. Gonna try to back into Klein here to get some traction going. Gets the rear end a little bit. 11 into the front of Jamison. 43S T Bones Jamison. Boom. OK, 
Jake Line is going to get stuck here between two or three cars. He didn't watch it. Got kind of a tie up. Flying gets shoved around Jamison there by Hanson, number 11 of Abilene. Three R's trapped again. His engine might be done, I don't know. That taken down his stick. Gets the engine going. Don Rav of Abilene, 3R, still getting harassed by Mike Hansen of Abilene in the 11th car. Pete Davidson and the green three is in the back end of 43S. 3R is in the side of Jacob Klein, the 68. The r tries for climb, but just barely touches front end. We couldn't get his traction going. Pete Davidson gets touched by 11. Hanson of Abilene. Five cars in action. Out of the eight starters in this heat. Two Delphus drivers, two Abilene drivers, and one from Geneva, Nebraska. Still in action here in this first heat. Abilene drivers are on each other again. Well, we're going to have a circle here, 43S. Turner of Geneva, Geneva, Nebraska gets into the rear end of Hanson. Jacob Klein seems tied up, but he gets away. of Geneva, Nebraska, and the 3R from Abilene are side by side here. Now they're gonna back in on Klein. Each of them gets a corner. Five cars still in action. and gets in on the action there. He's 
taking down his stick. Here we are, that's Don Rab of Abilene. He's sitting square in the middle of the track, so that'll be dicey to get around him now. Keith Jamison's got 43S of uh, Shad Turner in Geneva stuck between him and the dead 3R. Eleven Hanson of Abilene gets into the side of Jamison. Here comes Jacob Klein. Get in on some of the action. Pushing Chad Turner, 43S around. Peter Jamison gets T bone. He's still active. We got a push pushing contest here for up the front. When Jake McCline, 68 and 43S. Chad Turner of Geneva, Nebraska. They finally pull off each other. Now Klein's in between two. Peter Jameson has Klein trapped between him and 43S and 11. They all separate. Pete Jameson gets rear-ended by Chad Turner, 43S. Car still rolling. Forty-three S gets crunched by Klein. Jameis is going to get into the back of Klein. That runs out of traction before the hit is made. Now Klein's trapped between forty-three S Turner. And Jameson pulls away. Jameson's doing some serious smoking now with the steam coming out of his front end. So we still got the four cars going. I think the top three go to the next heat. Could be wrong there, or the finals. But this heat could be over with one more car given up if I have my facts straight. Line. Turner, Jacobson, three of them there. Seventy gets going and gets out of the way. He'd already given up. Eleven gets into the side of Jamison. Forty-three S and Klein are back at their tug of war, not tug of war, but uh, front end push to push here. Klein gets pancaked by 11. Davis is going to try to get into him. Can't do it. Skater Jamison backs out just in time before getting smashed between 11 and 43. 11 gets, 43 S gets into the backside of Klein. Jamison appears to be, nope, there he goes. 43S is going to try to get a 
good back end approach on somebody here. Look out, Adam Klein, oh, he can sway just in time. And misses everybody. Jameson, T-Bones, 11. Hanson, oh, Abling. Turner of Geneva is trapped between Klein and Jameson. But that gets away now. Trap between 11 and Klein. Pushing his way out now. Jameson into the front end of 11. Trap between Jameson on 11. 43 is going to get into the rear end of Jameson. Line still moving. For now, anyway. Yep, still at it. Jameson's going to get rear ended again. Yep. 43 S runs out of traction before he gets to him. Line gets rear-ended by 11. Still moving. Portis Reyes goes for a rear end on Jameson. Kind of misses him. Eleven gets into the front end of the line. And Portis Reyes is shooting and now he gets on over into 11 and he gets shoved him into the front. Now he's fair game. It backfired on him. Now Klein gets into the back of 11. He's pushing 43 F. He's stuck in the muck. The officials are waving to him to back off. gives up. He says, I'm stuck in the mud and I can't get out. That leaves Hanson, Jameson, and Klein. So apparently it's not the top three. Top three, go to the finals, so. This heat is over. 11, Hanson of Abilene. Jacob Klein, 68, Adelphus, and Skeet Jameson. 
number three, the green three of Delphus, are the three survivors to move on to the finals. We'll be back with heat number two. Okay, as we're waiting the entree of heat number two to the arena. Little information there, the uh, top two finishers in that heat. Um, Mike Hansen of Abilene, number 11, and Jacob Klein of Delphus, number 68, each got uh, some heat money, $30 a piece. Skeet Jamison does not qualify for heat money, but moves on to the finals. And the top two of uh, the next heat will also receive heat money. The third driver will move on to the finals with no heat money. Payouts for the finals for this demolition derby are up this year, I believe. There's $1,300 for the winner, $800 for second place, $500 for third, $350 for fourth, $250 for fifth, $100 for sixth. And if the winner is from Otto County, he gets an extra $100. And there's $100 going to be awarded to the hardest hit. Up in the second heat is number 19, Adam Klein of Delphus. 69, Michael Hyman of Smolin. 13V of Rick Gilmore out of Simpson. 5C, Cole Sorrell out of Belleville. 69X, Lee Major of Riley. He's a Fort Riley soldier out of Iowa originally. 8J, Jesse Levine out of Salina who runs uh, sport compacts at Minneapolis Raceway, it's a line of speedway, as a rookie this year. 43J, Josh Turner of Geneva, Nebraska. Number 822, Charlie Finkbeiner Biner of Minneapolis. And last but not least, number 47, Jeremy Koppel of Delphus. And they're getting lined up here. Two of the cars look like a virtual demolition derby neophytes as far as their cars not being beat up. I was going to say something else, but changed my mind at the last second. Nine cars in this heat. We've got seven on in the arena. Jeremy Coppola of Delphus comes in. And here comes 69X, Lee Major, full-time soldier, rally, Fort Riley. He's out of Iowa. Eight cars, nine cars lined up, ready to roll here in the second heat of the 2011 Ottawa County Demolition Derby here in Minneapolis, Kansas. Ball start. <laughs> here we go. Twenty-three and eight J get S C five crap, but he gets away. Nine cars out there, gosh, who do you pick? Who do you pick on? Eight 
22. Number right here, 823. Oh, that's Klein. That's Adam Klein. I had him down as 19, but he's got obvious number 23. Somebody's getting red flag. 47. Couple of Delphus. No. <laughs> Somebody lost a bumper. Bringing the action to a halt while they can clear the debris. Here's the official flagman over here on the right with the checkered green, red, and black. Black flag is disqualified. They'll wave the green flag to get her going. Here we go. Adam Klein is going to back in from the far distance. Let's figure out which one he's going to go for. 822 seems to be a likely subject, but he gets away. Now Klein gets rear in the rear end by Binder. AJ gets knocked around. Jesse Levine. Another red flag. Something out there in the mud. Another bumper. They threw it onto the rear end of uh, 13V. Is 13V out of it already? I don't see a stick up in the air, so Rick Gilmore Simpson, 13V in this silver car over there on the side appears to be out of commission. And the flagman dropped the green flag again. Sixty nine X is in the center. Makes a Likely target. Klein and Pinkbinder are going at it. Klein gets away. Let's see the target here. Back in. Looks like 69X might be out of it now, too. So we've got seven cars working each over other over on the north end. 822 is here. He's going to come after Klein, gets it from behind. Charlie Pinkbinder into Adam Klein, who gets. Pinkbinder gets hit from Jesse Levine. Levine into the back of, can't see the number. Fine gets in the back of Pink Binder. That's C5 that's getting crushed up the most there in the middle, 5C, full sorrel. 
Belleville. Lines trying to get away from Pink Binder. Runs into a roadblock. Levine, Pink Binder, and Klein are squaring off on each other. Steamed up a little bit there. Link Binder is getting swallowed by a couple cars here. Adam Klein is going to try to get some momentum going. Gets into 69. C5 tries to get Levine, and now he's trapped. Link Binder gets into the back of Levine. 69, Hyman stolen between several cars here. Adam finds now the hitty in the middle. Sixty nine is now the designated picky. Flying into the back side of Pink binder. Pink binder gets rear ended by sixty nine. Add a fine T bones in with the rear end. Number 69, Hyman, a small one. Levine, Levine's pushing Finkbinder around. Klein gets in T-Bone's Finkbinder from side to side. With his rear end. 47, Koppel, Adelphus still going. I thought he was dead in the water there for a minute. Lions got Koppel in his sights. T bones him in the rear end. So four cars going to each other on the other end. Klein and Koppel have each other paired off here in the foreground. Jesse Levine tries to get in on this action. T bones flying from the side. Here comes Finkbinder. C5, barely hanging together, but still moving. Big Finder's gonna get in the back of Levine. Pretty good solid crunch there. Now Smith gets into, or Klein gets into Big Finder. Koppel gets in. Like we might have at least one more car here in the front foreground that uh, is dead in the water. Can't see if it sticks down or not. That would be 69. Hyman, a small one. 
C5s rear-ended by Adam Klein, 23. Got some smoke, and not smoke, got some fire coming out of exhaust pipes there. He looks to be a goner. Hadn't taken his stick down yet, C5, but he's not moving anywhere at this point. Definitely have five cars still in it. C5 is losing a lot of steam and more fire coming out of his exhaust. Can't imagine he'll be going anywhere soon. There he takes the stick out. So down to five cars. 43J, Jesse Turner of, Josh Turner of Geneva. 822, Charlie Finkbinder of Minneapolis. 23, Adam Klein of Delphus. 8J, Jesse Levine of Salina. And number 47, Jeremy Coppel of Delphi here in the foreground. And he gets T-boned by Adam Klein, number 23. 822, Finkbinder gets into the rear end of 43J. The Turner of Geneva, Nebraska. He gets rear-ended by Justin Levine. Koppel gets Klein from the side. Hey, Levine gets in a good solid crunch on Koppel. Forty-three is about to lose his left rear tire and he's still wobbling. He gets into the rear end of Koppel real hard. Levine is going to back into Finkbinder. Adam Klein still running on the upper foreground there. Eight J is going to get into the front of Koppel, 47. It's merry go around around the two dead cars in the center here. Think Finder is going to you know, thought he's going to try to make a run on 23 Klein, but ran short. Now Koppel is the hitty in the middle between 43J, 8J, and 47. Or make that 822. Think binder. Oops, here comes the mud. In the top three, move on to the finals. The top two get $30 heat money each. Still got five cars running. 69J, he's got 69X, got his machine running. He pulls out of the way. I think he's officially out of it. 69X, I mean. Going to try to get a rear end approach on somebody here. 
43 J is the target. And he smashed between Klein and Pinkbinder. Klein gets a good rear end hit on Pinkbinder. Klein's trying to get pushed around by 69. No, 43J, excuse me. Topple's getting worked over by Levine there in the foreground. Upper part of your television set. Klein's gonna back in on Levine. Thing binder's trapped between 43J Turner. Five cars still going at it here. Thing binder losing a lot of steam out of the front end. And yeah, Pinkbinder rear ends Levine pretty good there. And ooh, Klein, a vicious rear end hit into the side of Pinkbinder. Binder in the 43J, Turner. And 43S is the designated hit E in the center there. He gets away. Now it's Pink Binder in the center. Klein T-bones him. Now he gets T-bone from Levine on the other side. Here comes 43J into him. Didn't have any momentum going. It is 822 done. 822 is out. He takes it down his stick. So that leaves 82 Adam Klein. 43J Josh Turner. 8J, Jesse Levine, and 47, Jeremy Koppel of Delphus. Yeah. 43J, still moving. 47 appears to be going nowhere. Topple, Adelphus, he's getting shoved around by Adam Klein. Now 43J, Josh Turner gets him. Here comes Jesse Levine. We smell blood. Finish him off. Get it down to three. The Copple's not taking down his stick yet. Jesse Levine still working on him. Oh, Topple gets the beast roaring to life again. He's still at it. So still those four cars. Josh Turner.
And the flagman comes out to say something to the driver, so you need to get at it, boys. Need to get this over. All right, so the green flag will drop again. The drivers, the drivers have been warned. No more mamby pamby in her am. Let's get it down to the final three and the final two. Green flag drops. Koppel appears to be in deep trouble here. Flying into the back of Levine. 43J comes around and hits on Levine. 43J again is Turner of Geneva, Nebraska. Forty-three J barely has the right front tire hanging on. Topple hadn't taken down a stick yet. He just gets rear-ended. Now he's got to get rear-ended by forty-three uh, J. Turner. Koppel has not got his car going yet, but he hadn't taken a stick down either, but everybody are leaving him alone. Spoke too, through, too soon, 43J into his side. Levine backs between Klein and Koppel. There, Koppel takes a stick down, so we're now down to three. We have to find out which two get to the money and which one goes on to the finals without the money? Levine into Turner. Levine's trying to work Turner over now. Adam Klein picking and choosing his route to get into one of them or the other. He's going to sneak into Levine from the side. Levine gets into the back of 43S. Klein takes his, his stick down. So the final two are 43J, Josh Turner, and 8J, Jesse Levine. They get the heat money and move on to the finals along with Adam Klein. We'll move on to the finals with no heat money. We'll be back after they get these cars cleared out for some figure eight racing. Good sized crowd here tonight on hand to watch the demolition derby and figure eight racing for the Otto County Fair in Minneapolis. This is on the east side. Pan over here on the west side. Everybody's a lot more comfortable now that the sun is peeking down behind. It was 104 degrees to start. And here at 8.50 p.m. it's Cool down to a wonderful, a beautiful 95 degrees. <laughs> we'll be back with the figure eights. Okay, after a lot of track preparation, we're about ready to get the figure eight racing underway here. Two heats. Seven in the first heat, eight in the second. Top three drivers move on to the uh, finals and there's also a consolation race. 
In the first heat, Mark Colton, number 17 of Oak Hill. Uh, also number DR, Jordan Rumsey of Washington. Number 28, Leon Rumsey of Washington. Number 49, Chuck Walters of Washington. Number 9, ER, Alex Johnson of Minneapolis. Number 95, Jeremy Milam of Oak Hill. And number 6D, Josh Rice of Minneapolis are your seven competitors. In the finals of this uh, competition, the winner gets $250, $250, second place $200, third place $150, fourth place $100, and fifth place $55. So far better money than in they get racing at uh, either the Minneapolis Raceway or Salina Speedway for these front wheel drive four cylinder vehicles here in the figure eight racing at the Auto County Fair. Here comes number 95, Lightning McQueen. Jeremy Milam out of Oak Hill. At least uh, one, two, three, four drivers who have driven at Minneapolis Raceway here on the figure eight track. Josh Rice, Jeremy Milam, Alex Johnson, and Mark Colton. I don't know how many laps. And we're going to get some rolling. How many laps, buddy? No. Lead off driver, pole position, number 17, Mark Colton in the red. They get loose. Whoa! Josh Rice gets cut off. Colt still on the lead. Alex Johnson caught up in the mud over here. Riding dirty Josh Rice around the corner. I think Colton 17 still in the lead, but quite frankly, I don't know anyone. They got so mixed up. <laughs> this might as well be uh, the demo derby. Not too big of a turn here in turn four before he keeps going into that mud. Now we got another driver into the mud. That frees Alex Johnson up a little bit, maybe. Colton still going here, 49. He gets shoved around by riding Lightning McQueen. 28 still at it. That is Leon Rumsey. Red flag. We've got a bumper in the middle of the track. Two ride drivers over. I think one in the deep in the muck and the mud is riding dirty. Josh Rice putting a new emphasis on the word dirty right now. 49 gets slammed into the tire. The tire is going to need to be moved back where it belongs. Colton missed the turn there. Red flag's out. You have to move the tire back to where people can get around it. I 
There, they're getting the tire lined up. The figure eight officials. All right, the flag is waved to get him rolling again. Here comes Colton and Milam. 17 and 95. Oh, somebody else is getting in the mud over here. 49 still rolling. That is Chuck Wade of Washington. 28 from Washington. Mark Holt still in the lead, I do believe. Followed by Milam. Checkered flag is being waved. Mark Colton, I believe, is the winner. Jeremy Milam is second. And 49 is third. That is Chuck Walter, or Walters of Washington. So those three will automatically qualify for the finals. Mark Colton, number 17, number 95, Jeremy Milam, both of Oak Hill, and number 49, Chuck Walters of Washington, and there will be a consolation race, or I'm not sure if it's kind of a B feature or just a consolation race. And they're going to pull Riding Dirty Josh Rice, call him Riding Muddy now. Going to pull him out of the mud and the goo over here. Alex Johnson's right beside him. Josh is seriously up to his hubcaps. His wheel axle's in the mud. <laughs> and out he comes. Alex Johnson's over here in the mud. No, I didn't see there's a third car also. Wow. Kent State Finals, October 13th, the top three tonight in the Demolition Derby qualify for it. $13,000 in prize money. Be run for. Metal 
The derby right here is uh, being towed out. Alex Johnson's under his own power. Heat number two of the race. Get to the line up there. Heat number two. Heat two coming up. Diane Smith of Minneapolis, number 25. Also running is number 92, Weston McClure of Tescott. Number five, Scott Rorig of Salina. Number 27, Trish Clayman of Minneapolis. Number L13, Nathaniel Specht of Delphus. Number 89, Riley Boyer of Minneapolis. Number 3J, Justin Klein of Delphus. And Frankenstein Carr, Jake Kurtz of Effingham. No number, just called the Frankenstein car. We'll be back as they come on to the track. All right, I hear them. They're getting ready to come on the track. I think the defending champion from 2010 is Justin Klein in the 3J. Long Hall Award of the night goes to Jake Kurtz of Effingham. For those of you not familiar with where Effingham is, it's up in Atchison County. The hometown of, F of Atchison County Community High School that the Minneapolis Lions basketball team dispatched in the semifinal rounds of the Class 3A state championships in Hutchison back in March. They are undefeated coming into the game. Minneapolis beat them by a point in overtime. If, you, if you've forgotten. Eight drivers. Drivers who have competed at Minneapolis Raceway, Cheyenne Smith, Chris Clayman still does. And I believe those are the only two out of this heat that have competed at Minneapolis Raceway. Well, I thought they were ready to come on track, but obviously they're not. We'll be back. Okay, here we come. Cheyenne Smith leading them out in the white number 25, followed by Weston McClure of Tescott in 92. Scott Rorig of Salina in the red five. Trish Clayman in the silver 27. Nathaniel Specht in the L13. The blue, L13. Riley Boyer in the, uh, I don't know what you call it, Chartouse. L13, Air 89. Justin Klein in the black, 3J. And Jake Kurtz in the green and black Frankenstein car. Getting them lined up here. Get them get a warm up. Nope, not ready for the warm up lap yet. Inside pole is Smith. for some hot action here. Front wheel drive, four cylinder. Get a warm up lap going and they'll drop the check the green flag. Check, 
Green flag is dropped and immediately L13 gets into the muck and is not gonna get out. Cheyenne Smith gets pushed over into the muck. And we've got a hang up here in the center. Chris Clayman gets sidelined. Two bumpers are off. That's going to bring out the red flag, caution flag. One bumper off to the side. This moat over here has been dangerous here in the figure eight racing. And they waved the flag to get rolling here. 92 is gonna lose their bumper. <laughs> That's an awful sharp turn, and then they don't get turned sharp enough. There's Cheyenne Smith. Oh, <laughs> how Chris Clayman got around that car, I don't know. She takes a wide turn, gets out of the muck. Keeps rolling. Well, that was a claimant. 7R. I think it's claiming. Cheyenne Smith gets hit or bumped around again. Lots of fender bender, fender bending action here. It's like Frankenstein from uh, Effingham seems to be in the lead right now. Seven R, I can't place that on my list. I think that's probably a claimant over there in the far end of the mud. 89 here in the front, that's Riley Boyer. And he gets ratcheted up and stops all progress for all cars. 7R backs up and gets around him. Now 5 is kind of stuck. Scott Roerig, Tesco. No, oh, Salina, excuse me. Jay is stopped. The Frankenstein is not going to be able to get through here unless Seven R gets moving. There he is. Seven R goes. Boiler gets. Boyer gets moving. Seven R gets smashed by Boyer into the side. Seven R and the Frankenstein car are the only ones moving right now. Here comes Seven R again. Frankenstein moves boiler around in the mud. And here's the checkered flag for the Frankenstein car. 
from Effingham. Jake Kurtz. Kind of looks like the demolition derby out here. All the cars stuck in the mud and et cetera. Can't go anywhere. Jake Kirst is first to go on to the finals. Third place is Boiler, 89, and I still have not figured out the 7G, 7R. We'll try to get you that official result and be right back. Okay, top three finishers. Uh, number one was Jake Kurtz out of Effingham in the Frankenstein, the green and black Frankenstein car. Second was Trish Clayman, uh, listed in the program as number 27, was driving the silver 7R. And third, Riley Boyer of Minneapolis, driving the 89. So two Minneapolis drivers, Clayman 27, or the 7R, whichever is you want to officially 27 had 7R on the side and Riley Boyer number 89 again the winner of that feature Jake not feature heat race Jake Kurtz of Effingham in the black and green Frankenstein car so uh, six finalists out of the two heats Mark Colton of Oak Hill Jake Kurtz of Effingham Jeremy Milam of Oak Hill Trish Clayman of Minneapolis, Chuck Walters of Washington, and Riley Boyer of Minneapolis. And I'm not sure if there's a more cars going to be added to that from a B feature or if there's a consolation race. Be back with, uh, I guess, probably the finals of the Demolition Derby. We'll find out. This is the B feature. I don't know how it all worked out here. Justin Klein has officially been declared the second place car in that race, and he sat there half the race, so not moving. I don't know how that's working, but uh, Trish Clayman in the 7R is in this consolation race, kind of a B feature. Top three drivers out of this move on to the finals. Drivers are DR Jordan Rumsey of Washington, 28 Leon Rumsey of Washington, 9 ER Alex Johnson of Minneapolis, 6D Josh Rice of Minneapolis, 25 Cheyenne Smith, Ninety-two Weston McClure, Tescott, five Scott Rorig of Salina, twenty-seven or seven R of Trish Clayman, L thirteen and Nathaniel Specht, and that might be more cars than I see out here. But uh, those are the drivers that did not qualify. We see six, we see seven cars sitting out here, ready to go in this consolation race or. B feature again the top three move on to the finals. And I don't know how the ruling came about again that Justin Klein got second in that race because he right, set still.
Uh, I think they're still waiting for some more cars. We'll be back. Okay, they're taking some warm-up laps. I think we're still expecting maybe one more car. Yeah, I can hear one. Weston McClure, 92 of Tesket is on the track. So we're about ready to roll here in this consolation race. Top three move on to the finals. See if they, all the drivers can avoid the moat over here on the right. There's the green flag. Eight cars. The Derby car is in the lead. The DR, Jordan Rumsey of Washington, and he is in the muck already. So is 90. <laughs> ER in the same place again. The 28 is the lead car now. The Leon Rumsey of Washington. Josh Rice is going in the mud again. He just couldn't, didn't think he had enough of that the first time around. Riding muddy Josh Rice. Cheyenne Smith gets around the corner there. L13 can't get it under control. 28 sneaks around between all of them. Backs the tire up and gets it rolling. Trish claiming in the 7R and L13. And finds a crease, gets through. L2 gets her rolling. The 28 of Jordan Rumsey, no, of uh, Leon Rumsey is still in the lead. I believe Clayman's second. L13, Nathaniel Speck, I believe, is third. Cheyenne Smith is fourth. Tight race here for the final qualifying spot. L13 gets stuck up. L Smith <laughs> three wide for third there. 28 still in the lead. L13 second now. Smith third. Clayman in fourth. 92 stuck. Smith moves into second past L13. Oh, the Chigos are in the mud. We got three cars running now. 28. L13 and the 7R of Trish Clayman. And the checkered flag is waved. These three cars will move on to the finals. 28, L13, and 7R. So we'll have the demolition derby well, I don't know. I better not say because I don't know this for a fact. Might just go ahead with the finals. I'll find out and we'll be back. Hey, Scooter. Home run derby here. Yeah, aim for the mud. Right, you give you another hand, too. You're going to get. <laughs> hey, hey, it's a family show. We don't talk like that. Yeah, you wanted to wash him off.
sheriff's out here, please. <laughs> Benny, that's two people you've hurt tonight with a water balloon. My mom said, don't get wet. All right, you ready? All right, we uh, are ready for the consolation race of the demo derby. Top three drivers move on to the finals. 69X, Lee Major here. 47, Jeremy Koppel. Can't see all the numbers. Uh, 70 J, Logan Turner, Niles. There's 822, Charles Finkbinder, Minneapolis. Nine cars so far. They're vying to get into the final so they can go for the $1,300 payout for the winner of the demo derby feature. Again, the payouts are $1,300, $1,800, $500, $350, $250, $500, $500, $500, $500, $500, $500, $500, $500, $500, $500, $500, $500, $500, $500, $500, $500, $500, $500, $500, $500, $500, $500, $500, $500, $500, $500, $500
One reason we probably have some harder hits going on here is the ground is not near as muddy. The drivers can get some better traction going than they had in those heats. It was very, very muddy, and those drivers had a hard time getting any traction going in the heat events. Uh, we'll, uh, we're going to have to move somebody out, I guess. We'll be back. Green flag, we get going again. Whatever it was, was the problem is straightened out. Boom. 43S into 69X. when they get some traction going. Now this is what you come to Demolition Derby for. Majors in the mud. Uh, we're down just a few cars here. 43S, 822. The four cars are moving. Charlie Finkbinder and 43S are going at it like a couple of banshees. Two still moving. Top three move on to the final. Thank Binder and 43S uh, Turner definitely will be two of them. Checker flag. Uh, 
43 S Turner, 822 Fangbinder, and I don't know who the third one will be. And the third one is 43 S Shad Turner of Geneva, Nebraska to go on to the finals. Be back for what I assume will be the finals of the figure eight racing in the Jiffy. All right, feature time for the figure eight racing. We had a draw, redraw for starting positions. It appears from here that Jeremy Milam is on one of the pole positions and possibly the Frankenstein car is in the other pole position out of Effingham. Nine cars. $250 to the first place. Here we go, green flag, Frankenstein, and Carr gets off, seven J's in second. Seventeen, Colton's in the muck. And I can't tell who the other one is, and everybody's Tied up here, they need to move the tractor tire over again. Clayman's in fourth, Boiler's in fifth, Milam sixth. No, I'm it's Frankenstein in first. So many laps. You ever make the first lap? Colton gets smacked around some more. Jeremy Milan's got a right front tire that's cut down. Just might have lost a bumper. No, that's off Colton. I've lost all pretense on figuring out who's in first, second, third, or whatever. The 95 Lightning McQueen is still in it. Not too much worse for the wearer. He's claiming in the 27R. Still at it. Comes Frankenstein, probably still in first. Followed by 3J. Justin Klein and Delphus.
There's another one in the mud. <laughs> Down to six cars. Oh, Milam's about to lose his tire off his front rim. Now well, Milam's into the mud, beating up on Lightning McQueen here. These people don't know what they're messing with. <laughs> 3J appears to be dead in the water. Clayman is not quite dead, but is moving. Milam gets over into the mud, and with that right, left front tire, I don't know if he's gonna get going or not. Clayman's trying to persuade, him. oh, 13, L13 loses his right front tire. That leaves three cars going. 49, the Franken car, and Trish Clayman. If Trish can get her car moving, she might get some money here. <laughs> well, we have two cars running yet, 49, and the green checker flag is out. They'll have to sort this out. I'm sure the Franken's car gets number one. Forty-nine will get number two. Chuck Waller, Washington. Now let's figure out the remaining. Who went out? When and what order to determine the remaining places? $250 will go to Jake Kurtz of Effingham for first place. $200 will go to Chuck Walter of Washington, 49, second place. I believe L13 was the last car to go out. Three J looks like is going to get third. Justin Klein. He'll get one hundred fifty dollars. And I don't know who the official fourth place and fifth place is. I would say fourth place and fifth place money go to Nathaniel L13 and fifth place to Trish Clayman, but I'm not the official scorer just based on where they died, where they went out. We'll have to get confirmation of that. So that was your finals for the figure eight racing.
Next up will be the finals of the Demolition Derby. All right, the finals, the top six in that race was, again, Jake Kurtz of Effingham in the Franken car, $250. Second to Chuck Walters of Washington, number 49, $200. Third to Justin Klein of Delphus in the 3J, $150. Fourth, Nathaniel Speck to Delphus in the 43, he gets $100. Fifth to Jeremy Milam of Oak Hill, $50. And sixth, Trish Clayman, Minneapolis, $50. So four of the top six were from Otto County. Two big money winners were from out of county, though, in Effingham and Washington County. Congratulations to those drivers. Coming up for the Demo Derby Finals, we've got... Jacob Klein, 68. Mike Hansen of Abilene, number 11. Skeeter Jamison of Delphus, number three. Adam Klein, Delphus, number two. Might have been 28. I can't remember. Jesse Levin of Salina, 8J. Josh Turner, Genesee, Nebraska, 43J. Shad Turner. 43S out of Geneva, Nebraska. Logan Turner, 70T out of Geneva, Nebraska. So three Geneva, Nebraska drivers into the finals. And last but not least, number 822, Charles Finkbinder out of Minneapolis. So four Auto County drivers in the finals vying for the top prize at $1,300. Plus, if one of them should win it, they get an extra 100 when they get all these cars jug out of the mud, we'll be back. Okay, all nine drivers are on the track now. Again, Jacob Klein, Adelphus, 68. Mike Hansen, Abilene, 11. Skeeter Jameson, Adelphus, 3. Adam Klein, Adelphus, 23. Jesse Levin, of Salina, 8J. Josh Turner of Geneva, Nebraska, 43J. Chad Turner, Geneva, Nebraska, 43S. Logan Turner, Geneva, Nebraska, 70T. Charles Finkbeiner, Minneapolis, 822. And they're off. And uh, we ought to see a lot faster action than we did in the heats, just like we did in the Constellation, just because it's not so muddy, they can get some grip. Hardest hit gets an extra hundred dollars. Seventies pushed over in the mud. Got to get out of it. Whoa! Eight twenty-two smash from behind by forty-three S. Forty-three J into sixty-eight. Whoa! Forty-three S and forty-three J clank. Ganging up on 68 here. Think Binder into 43S. Peter Jamison and uh, Jake Adam Klein tied up with each other. Levin and 43J Turner. Trying to push Klein out of the arena. AJ Levin. Going to back into Jameson. Oh! -ho! Jacob Klein. It's a smash. Peter right. Jameson tires appear to be. Right, front tires for the be mobile. Oh, there they're rolling. 43S and 8J pushing on each other. 
Jacob Pine mashes in the 43F. And Brother Adam gets in on the ass. The fish 11 in the pink biter. His left rear tire is off, 822, so he's out. Adam Klein gets, no, Jacob Klein gets pushed off into the mud. 43S stays out of the mud. Adam flying into one of the Geneva drivers. Sixty-eight. Jacob flying stuck in the mud. Hey, gets out of it. People in the stands go running behind him. Adam Klein gets out of the mud. Jason Klein into 43. AJ's going to hit a good boom. Adam Klein still at it. Oop. They dodged that uh, arm's way. Both Klein brothers still in action. Levine's in action. 70 P. I think all three of the Geneva drivers are still in action here. Geneva Nebraska drivers. Levine smashes into one of them. To 11. Excuse me. Levine into uh, another. Adam Klein gets the Nebraska driver. Levine backs into 43J. Jameson gets back into there. Still rolling though. We've got five cars. Six cars still in action, and another one trying to get in action. This one tire's got both two front tires. One slanted way in, so one slanted way out. Big tie up here, 70 T into Peter Jameson. Adam Klein is tied up here by 43 S. 43S is the one that the tires can't hardly be moving. 11, 8J still going at it. Oh, 43J just clocks Jameson in the rear end. Merry go around here between 11, 43S, and Adam Klein, 23. Three S T bones Klein and he gets 
T-bone himself by 11. He's gonna try to push Klein into the mud, and there he is. And then 11 pushes him into the mud. Adam Klein's gonna try to back out of it. 11 is not done with him yet. 43S, he puts him out. Jameis is still working on it in the top. 43S gets out of the mud. Will Adam Klein be successful. Forty three S you get back in there into the mud where you belong. Jameis is still at it. Seventy P still at it. Eleven, I think, is still at it. Eleven, eight J's at it. Adam Klein still trying to get out of the mud. I believe both Klein brothers are out of it now. So Jesse Levin, 6'8", 43S, 70T, both out of Nebraska still in it. Jamison. Okay. 43S flaming pretty bad out of his exhaust. Jameis is still moving. Adam Klein just gave it up. <laughs> How 43 is still moving, I don't know. Oh, 43S just put a major hit on who? Is that Jacob Klein? Yeah, yeah, AJ yeah. backs in to Skeeter Jameson. Now he puts a hit on 43S, AJ. Jameson puts a big hit. AJ, Jesse Levin still at it. One guy got out. Yeah, one guy go down there. He's got nothing for the fucking me. We're down to four cars, possibly. AJ, Jesse Levin. Three in the green of Jameson. And I can't read the number on this one. That's 11, that's uh, Hanson out of Abilene. And 43S, Shad Turner out of Geneva, Nebraska. So one Nebraska driver still running. And he just got rear-ended combination from Levin and Jameson. get into the side of Jameson here. Now he's going to try to back into oh, the front end Jameson here again. Forty three S there in the foreground is trying to get moving. I'm not sure if he can or not. A lot of flame coming out of his exhaust. Eleven and eight J both giving Peter Jameson, some problems here. Ooh, yeah. Jameson is right back at you.
So 11 uh, Hanson of Abilene still in it. Jamison Adelphus. And 8J, 11 of Salina. The three cars still rolling. The Nebraska drivers are all out of it. So one Auto County driver still has a chance to get the extra 100 bucks along with $1,300 winning. That'd be Jamison in the green three. Official comes in to say something. AJ, I don't know what. Jesse Levin pushing in on uh, Hanson of Abilene, number 11. The green three of Skeeter Jamison still in it, and he clocks Hanson. 11 rear ends Jamison. And he's going to hit him again. Davis is still moving. How? I don't know. How those tires are going anywhere, I don't know. Three cars. Hanson, Jamison, and Levin. Green three of Jamison, last Hanson. Hanson. Jameson tries for Hanson, misses him. Levin backs into him. Jameson in the green three. Clocks Hanson. James or uh, Levin backs into him. Jameson still moving. Jamison has a chance to pick up $1,400. Being an Ottawa County resident, the other two have a chance to pick up $1,300. They're all three in the money, as it is. Top three. Jamison clocks. It's clocked by uh, 11. Jamison clocked by 11 again. $1,300, $800, and $500. Layman, or uh, excuse me, Hanson of Abilene drops out here, so it's down to Jamison and Levin. $1,300 and $800 on the line. Jamison, Jamison clocks Levin in the back. The last one running. One of those two right there. Jameis is trying to force Levin up into the other driver. Levin gets away. Jameis is going after him. Oh, James, Levin's going to rear end him here. Jameis is still running. Levin's going to get a front end collision. There he goes. Jameis is still running. Levin clocks him again. Levin's still moving those tires, or Jameis is still moving those tires. Boom. Levin still punishing Jameis in here. 
$1,300 the winner, $800 second place. Jameson Wendy gets, wins and gets an extra 100 for being an Ottawa County resident. Levin and Jameson are locked up. Back to front. Jameson's pushing Levin. Front to front. Like two bulls with the horns locked. Which one's gonna go a little further? The big money on the line. $500 difference. 600 if Jameson would win. 11's backing off. Now he's pushing Jameson up into the mud. Jameson's trying to push back. And he does. <laughs> Jameson's winning the power of the push here right now. Levin can't push any further. Pushing Levin further back. Levin gets a little oomph for a push. Jamison's pushing further. Now Levin's got some power. Now Levin's got the mojo going for him here a little bit. Number eight, J. They've locked horns. They can't go any further. Officials are going to call this off. Tell them to back away from each other. Have at it again. Or did they call the race? They just had to back away from each other so they could get a fresh start at each other. Levin's going to try to rear end Jamison here. T bones him with his rear end. Can Jamison get moving? He appears to be dead in the water. Gets the car going. Can it roll? Yes, it can. Jamison going for $1,400. Klein, or, uh, Levin going for 1300. Runner up gets 800. Is Levin dead in the water? Levison, Levin 8J appears to be dead in the water. He's hadn't taken a stick down, but checkered flag for Skeeter Jameson. $1,300 purse, extra $100 for being from Delphus, or from Ottawa County. Quite a battle there between those two. Jesse Levin and the 8J of Salina, Skeeter Jamison of Delphus in the green three. Top three qualified to go on to the state championships in Harrington, October 15th.
Fight the battle. Skeeter Jameson and Jesse Levin. Have a good trip home. We'll see you later, so congratulations to Jameson. Skeeter Jameson, Adelphus, 2011 champion. Winning the big money tonight. We'll have to hear how the rest of the. Uh, how about that, ladies and gentlemen? Order of finish pans out here. We'll get presentation of the trophies here. Oh, I'm sorry, I was all out of cahoots here. Jesse Levine is first. This is your year, Jesse. He's a rookie in his sport class. You're doing good. You've won a lot a couple of times. You come close to winning many of them. And Derby support. No stranger, you like tearing stuff up, don't you? <laughs> all right, who do we want to thank? So thirteen hundred dollars to Jesse Levin, eight hundred dollars to Skeet Jameson. Mike Henson, Abilene, third place, five hundred dollars. And I don't know if they'll announce fourth and fifth place winners or not. Hey, stop that car. We're going to talk to the driver. All right, the third place finisher, Mr. Mike Hanson of Adelaide, Kansas, correct? All right. Who do you want to thank on your hot rod? I want to thank everybody who helped me tonight. Three get invitations to the state to the state 
Chad Turner, Geneva, and Nebraska, 43S. Hardest hit award. All right, so first through fifth has been awarded to first again to Jesse Levine of Salina, 8J. Sixth place to Adam Klein. I don't know what he wins. He wasn't on the list. Get the trophy for sure. Try some money in it too. So fourth, Chad Turner, Geneva, Nebraska. Fifth, Logan Turner of Niles, and sixth, Adam Klein of Delphus. This concludes the third annual Auto County Fair Demolition Derby and Figure 8 Racing. Dale Leach going to sign off here on Eagle Communications Channel 20, Eagle Community TV. Hope you've enjoyed the Auto County Fair of 2011. Good night, folks.